Um, where is Shirakuma? Um, hello? Hey! You too! Yay! Yay! You made it back safe! I'm glad! Now I want to hear the whole story, but first... Welcome back! Come, leap into my arms! Jeez, this guy developed a taste for hugs fast. Be modest. Do it. Do it. I yeah. I guess I can. I haven't taken a bath for a while, so I might be a little sticky. Oh, how about you comb out your hair, take a bath, and change your clothes and undergarments first? Jeez, Bushy. Why don't I just wrap myself in a bow for you too? Well, I was trying to do a dirty joke since usually I'm very clean. As a change of pace. Anyway, you two must be tired. Why don't you just rest for a while? With the mood in here, I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Aside from you, everyone seems unwelcoming. That's not it. They're just shy. I mean, not just one, but two girls in school uniforms? That's enough to make a man's heart burst. I've heard that you only appreciate being high school age after you've graduated high school. Hey everyone! Aren't you glad these young girls came back to us? See? Totally welcoming. What the hell are you talking about? Are your ears busted or something? Hey, Shirakuma, thanks for the offer, but I really don't feel like resting right now. Kamaru, what happened? Did the connection not work? No, the connection worked fine. But I'm just not sure Future Foundation is going to come through. I see. So that's why you're so down. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pat your head? Pat her head? How many heads have you crushed with a hand like that? Like I said, I don't do anything like that. Yeah, I know. I trust you, Shirakuma. You're the only one I can trust anymore. Hm. Hey, Shirakuma? What should I do now? I... I don't know what to do anymore. To tell you the truth, Haiji and the others are in a conference discussing exactly that. Why don't you go on in and join them? That's not a good idea. Have you already forgotten you ignored his warning and went to Toa Tower? Oh, that's nothing. That was just a small misunderstanding. We still have the same goal. To stop these out-of-control kids and free the mistreated adults. Isn't that right? I... I didn't really think it through that far. No, really. I know you can do it. Huh? Rather, you have to do it. You have to be able to save the adults. What are you saying? She's the complete opposite kind of girl you want for this. This is Armageddon, and we gotta band together and destroy that kid asteroid. Come on, our future is in there. Jeez, what's wrong with him? Hmm. Uh, um. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> this guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> How did he end up like this? How much longer do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place! No more! I can't take it anymore! 
Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. Pick it up! Exactly three months to the day has passed since the true ultimate despair died. Though it isn't completely certain, it can be assumed that the world will return to its former, calmer state. To commemorate the peaceful future, let us celebrate some of Toa Group's charity work. Number 1. Development of the air purifier effective against the toxic air in the atmosphere. Number 2. Distributed their inventions throughout the world. Number 3. Manufactured and delivered weapons to combat the despair. Number 4. Supplied high-performance gas masks. Number five, built shelters in war-torn areas. Number six, detoxified portions of the land and sea. Daily effort? Experience obtained increases. What can we do without? There we go. They're all doing worse, mentally speaking. I thought I heard a strange noise earlier. It's okay though, right? We aren't found out? It's going to be just fine. I think. I, I sure hope so. But I really do feel like I can hear them. Their laugh. It's going to be alright. Sure it is, right? Monokumas aren't going to get down here. It, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's no use. I can hear them. Laughing! He's losing it. Just waiting down here to die. I would rather go up to the surface and die there. I, I can't die in a place like this. Let me out of here! I heard you're from Future Foundation. And? What's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. Hmm. I wonder who is. I don't think we went in this one. Although Future Foundation's stated mission is to help the world recover from the tragedy, our editorial department has received a tip that claims Future Foundation themselves caused the incident in the first place. To no one at this publication's surprise, the true ultimate despair is at the top of Future Foundation. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. By inventing an opponent, they significantly complicated the situation to further plunge the world into despair. This opponent is Future Foundation. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and try to combat the despair with increasingly drastic measures. The reason why it took so long for the incident to settle down was because Future Foundation was protecting the despair. There can be no other explanation. Consider this. The ones who developed the air purifier was not Future Foundation, but Toa Group. Isn't it strange to think that Future Foundation, on whom the fate of the world relies, are technologically inferior to a single company? So did Toa Group start this rumor just to, like boost themselves in the public eye? That's bullshit.
Because, like, why don't you... I don't know. What is... Where are they getting their information from? In the training of stacking ice cream. Thinking that she had no special talents whatsoever, Konomi Tenri gave up on her current life. After hanging on for 17 years, she finally realizes her special ability on the brink of her death. I have the talent to destroy other people's talents. A girl who destroys other people's talents, and a boy who doesn't think he has any talent at all. Just what road will these two take? Toko! Hey, you were also a student at Hope's Peak Academy, right? What's your special talent? You're right. Didn't I tell you? My talent is writing. They used to call me the ultimate writing prodigy. Amazing! Wow, that's so cool! A novelist! That's really admirable! <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to me to be admired by a talentless girl like you. Jeez! <laughs> you think I'm talentless, but really, I'm super good at something. You're gonna say you're super good at reading manga or something, right? Oh, damn. Wait, you were really going to say that? No, I'm special in tons of ways. Like how I use a desk mat instead of a fan when it's hot. Or how I only get called on in class when I don't know the answer. The only thing abnormal about you is your stupidity. I wish I was more normal in that area, then. Now that I think about it, your reactions are all pretty normal, too. Stop it! No, stop! Don't treat me like a normal person anymore. And? How fast do you run a 100-meter dash? Aww. I want to say 18 seconds. And what's your favorite music? Top 40? <laughs> Horrifying. Geez, stop it already. You're making me sad. What's your favorite saying? All's well that ends well. And? And your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Um, it's... Swallow's nest and tuna eyeballs. Huh? What? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Something wrong? No. No, I must have heard you wrong. What's your favorite food? Mm -hmm. I told you. Swallow's nest, tuna eyeballs... Oh, I also like kangaroo meat. I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation. Yeah, those are some <laughs> weird favorite foods. I don't even know where you could get that stuff. It's gotta be chicken all over the place. I know I went in one of these. I don't think I went in the other. Hope's Peak Elementary is, as the name suggests, an elementary school associated with the world-leading educational institution known as Hope's Peak Academy. However, acceptance at Hope's Peak Elementary does not guarantee a seat at the academy. Only scouted students can attend. But applications for Hope's Peak Elementary keep flooding in. Why? Because the elementary is so dedicated to providing a high level of education. Like many private elementary schools, Hope's Peak Elementary uses an entrance exam with an interview segment to judge applicants. Because of this diligence, many of the elementary students are scouted for Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Elementary is also a research institution dedicated to raising the talent of the future. Yeah, there's a few private elementary schools where um, kids have to test into. Uh, there's a lot of public ones. I work at public elementary schools. But sometimes on the train, I'll see the ones going to private elementary schools on their way. So kids as young as six will be riding the trains by themselves. 
Yo, Coco and Fufu. Heard you went outside. Well, I figured you would. How should I put it? There's something different about you two compared to these people. What do you mean? How can I say it? The air around you, it's different. You two are always facing forward. But in here, the air is getting heavier and heavier. Everyone's stressed. Stuck in a dark and moldy place like this? How could you not be? Anyway, you went outside. Can you tell me about it? Did you get some kind of clue about people with wristbands? Yep, got some stuff for you. Um... What's going on? Enough, Dilly Dallying. Hurry up and show her. You always say normal this and normal that, but now you're freezing up? So cruel. What do you mean? Hm. Nothing. I was just saying something normal, to use your favorite word. Hey, hey! Um, what's up with you two? Hey, hey! What do you both- what, do you both have food poisoning or something? Hey, hey! Okay, looks like we're not getting- <sighs> Maybe we have to go to the meeting first. Because they're not doing what I want them to do. God. It doesn't matter if they're just kids. We have to kill them before they kill us. But the kids have those Monokumas on their side. We have to do something about them first. What do you mean by that? It's like I said, we have to take them out somehow. I'm at my wit's end here. If I stay underground another minute, I'm gonna lose it. I'm telling you, without a plan, a fight right now is far too risky. Haiji, as leader, what do you think? I have everyone's lives in my hands. There's no way I'd put you all in danger. I'm completely against a suicide attack, even for those who are prepared to die. So you want us to just stay here? <laughs> You're telling us to spend our lives in this shitty place, constantly afraid of those kids? My principle is to not waste lives. As a leader, I cannot accept a plan that defies that. B but I'm not telling you to stay here forever. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Does anyone else have any ideas? Hi, G. Is it all right if these girls join the conference after you guys take a break? H hello You two. Why are you two here? I already told you I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. It's not the time to argue. You guys have to get along, especially at a time like this. Regardless, this conference is over. No, not yet. It's not like you've considered all the options yet, right? Remember the idea I brought up before? Did you consider that? I already told you, it's impossible. I understand how you feel, but... Hey, what exactly are you guys talking about? It's... about persuading the children. Persuade? That's your idea? It's obviously a little late for that, don't you think? But you guys are all humans. You can come to an agreement with words instead of violence. You really think a group of monsters like those kids can be reasoned with? I bet they'd kill us the moment we showed up to treat with them. Plus this group here? There can't be peace with those kids. You know what they've done. But, but still, why don't you at least try? 
It's like Shirakuma said, we're all humans. Did you already forget who we're dealing with? Remember what that P.E. Punk showed us? Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all. As Hero, I hunted them down and let everyone go free. Those brats don't even care about family. Things like persuasion? It will never work. That's right. They're not human, they're demons. And not just that, even if we tried to use family to persuade them, it's not possible. The survivors here don't have any children anyway. Huh? W wait, you mean everyone here doesn't have any kids? But there's so many adults here. It's probably not a coincidence. Those kids are focusing on parents first. W why? Who knows? They have a deep-seated hatred of the ones who raised them. It's messed up. It's impossible to persuade a group like that. I'm completely against the idea. Well, we know... Sounds like, um... At least three of the five have been abused by the their parents in some fashion. But if fighting is impossible and persuasion is impossible, what are you going to do? Didn't I already say it? The best plan is to just wait for a while for a good opportunity. And exactly how long is this for a while? I don't know. But now's the time to toughen up and endure it. You say wait and endure. You're just repeating the fact you're not gonna do anything. You're an outsider. How could you possibly understand? I am the leader of this resistance. I have to think about the lives of everyone here. What resistance? A useless leader like you? You're even more of a burden than this chick. What did you say? Hey! You too! You don't think about others and just say whatever you want. You're no different than those kids. You're the one who's a child. Complaining, not even doing anything. If you don't like the way I lead, then you can leave. No one is going to stop you. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm leaving. But I know you're wrong. Let's go, Omaru. You're the one who's wrong, Toko. Huh? What are you saying? You... don't understand. You don't understand the feelings of the weak at all. I... I'm not blaming them for being weak. I'm blaming them for using it as an excuse. That's exactly my point. The reason they don't do anything is because they can't build confidence. I would know. You're someone strong, with talent, chosen for Hope's Peak Academy and Future Foundation. You don't know how people like me feel. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't understand what it's like to be weak. You think I'm chosen? You must be kidding. What's so great about me, huh? I'm a walking inferiority complex. I don't have confidence. I never have. But what's going to change if I just keep saying that? Using that as an excuse every day? I... I learned that... from the killing. I suffered for it, but I did something about it. So for you to say that I was just chosen, like I had nothing to do with it, I won't allow it. Please, wait, guys! Oh, fighting is a big no-no! Emergency! Monokumas are attacking us! Huh? Yeah, they followed us.
Why? Why are there Monokumas here? How did the children find out about this place? That's not important right now. Just run! Maybe we should run too. Wait! Please, protect everyone! P protect If this keeps up, everyone will be killed! If you can at least buy us some time, I beg you, please, we need you! Now's not the time to argue. If we don't fight, our lives are in danger too. Fine. Killing some of them by a pure accident. Wait, wait, who's dying? Who's dying? Thank you for saving everyone. Wish I could save more. I tried. Your fault. Huh? This whole time I've been so careful keeping this place a secret. I convinced people to stay underground. Stay hidden so they couldn't be followed. But after all that, this happens. The only explanation is that they followed you! You brought them here! We... we did? When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here! It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! But that's not fair! I... I didn't want this to happen! Oh, wait! These two protected us, didn't they? If they never came back after their stupid mission, this place wouldn't have been ambushed. That's a baseless accusation. You're just making an assumption. Well, as long as I'm assuming, 
I guess I'll go one further and say you guys are spies for the kids. Th that's not funny. What could we possibly gain from that? I remember an old folk tale about a war between birds and beasts. By using the face of both bird and beast, the bat played both sides. But because he couldn't get too close to either, in the end, the bat ends up alone. What are you trying to say? Bird or beast? I wonder which side you're on. Huh? Uh, Damn it! Uh, this again! Please! Make it stop! Why? Why now? What is that? What, you're asking me? Don't act like you don't know. Hey! What are you- Get, 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 get off me! Me. 